this is a problem. It's a problem in my bathroom and it because it makes gross water. This isn't draining. <clears throat> so here I am. I'm gonna make an attempt at fixing this because that's what you do when you live independently. You try to fix what is broken, what is wrong, and this is something here that is broken and wrong. Um, also an update on my video about my van when I filled it with um, antifreeze and it leaked everywhere, well, uh, it needed a new thermostat and that has been changed. So the van is doing well now. So let's see if we can get this sink doing well next. So here we go. I have a butter knife, make sure you if you ever use a butter knife on something like this, make sure you wash it really good when you're done. Because this is gross water. I'm going to see if I can lift this. It looks like I can. I'm lifting it and it looks like the water is slowly draining. I want to lift it out more. Ew, gross. Look at that. Coated with all kinds of hair. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to have to clean that up because that's gross. It makes me want to vomit. That's why this sink was not uh, draining and I have this never used it before clog destroyer clog destroyer gel and pipe guard <clears throat> pro strength liquid destroys clogs protects and prevents so this is gonna prevent and protect a clog there's some safety precautions it says 16 ounce, one fifth of the bottle. Wait 15 mi minutes and flush with hot water. Repeat monthly to prevent the buildup. So we can prevent this buildup by pouring some of this in. And I am. And ooh, 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 that gross thing with nasty hair all around it. I want to clean that. So let's. I'm going to put a glove on to pick that up. I'm going to put both my gloves on. Because I need to protect my hands from this liquid plumber stuff too. Because it could be dangerous. To my skin. First of all, I want to take this gross thing out of the sink. And then... I'm gonna to try to open this liquid plumber. It is definitely a childproof lid, so yeah, you might take a minute to try to figure out how to open that. You push down and turn, and it said, okay, so I put in what I thought was about that amount of ounces, and it said wait 15 minutes and flush. So I am gonna wait 15 minutes and I'm gonna flush that and then I'll clean the sink out later, but for now, this ew, ew, gross thing right here. Ugh. We gotta take this and clean it up. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this to another sink. Actually, I might just take this to the trash because it's ew, ew, gross. <laughs> and I'm in my kitchen. With this in my hand. And ew. I'm pulling the hair off of this. It's quite a bit. And slime. Ew, hair and slime. This is what a plumber has to look at. 
That's why I didn't become a plumber, because I would have vomited. Okay, I watched surgeries on TV and didn't vomit, but this makes me want to vomit. I'm going to go run some hot water on this. It's absolutely gross. Ah. I just wanted to vomit just to clean that thing up. But when I get done, it won't be so bad. So I got this thing where there's nothing and I'm just rinsing all the slime off of the sink stopper. It was literally slime. Get some uh, soap on it. Maybe that'll help. Grab some of this black stuff off of it. Gunk. much better now. It's not perfect though. I'm gonna rack and clean this. With some hot water. And some dish soap. Now I can scrub it. Now 15 minutes has not passed, but when 15 minutes does pass, I'm gonna run water down the sink per the instructions on the liquid stuff for the drain. And that's that, maintenance for a month, and then I will clean the sink out. So thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions related to life skills or living independently, email me at tanyadillardthequeen at gmail.com. That's T-A-N-Y-A-D-I-L-L-A-R-D, thequeen at gmail.com. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, hit like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.